everyone, this is Cole. I'm here at West Coast Drum Shop, and today I want to talk about choosing the right pair of sticks for you. Some people will tell you just to go and try sticks until you find a pair that feels good to you, which I think is good advice, but uh, I think it's also worth knowing what the different characteristics of sticks are, what the different features are, and how that will affect how they feel to you. So I'm just really quickly gonna go through some of these characteristics, explain what effect they have on the stick and the feel of the stick, um, and then I'm not gonna have any direct recommendations for what you should get, but uh, hopefully it should just give you a better idea of what you should be looking for when uh, you come into a shop like this and you start trying sticks out. So the first thing that probably makes the biggest difference as far as how a stick feels is its thickness or its diameter. So of course you're going to have sticks like 5As, 5Bs, 2Bs, 7As, and all of these different monikers uh, refer to different thicknesses. And that will have a couple of different effects. It will definitely affect, obviously, how heavy it is. It will affect how long the stick lasts. Of course, a thicker stick is going to, on average, last longer. And then um, it will also affect how it feels in your hand and how loose your grip is. So that's something else that uh, a lot of people don't talk about you might want to consider is, first of all, how big are your hands, and then how tightly do you grip a stick if it's a little bit small for you or if you have a larger stick it will naturally open up your grip a little bit. The wood type is also going to make a big difference in how long the stick lasts and how heavy it is. So commonly you'll find maple and hickory sticks but you'll also find sticks made out of oak and then you've got like these Promark fire grains which totally have their own thing going on and like I said that's going to affect the weight. Hickory on average is going to be a little bit heavier, maple is going to be a little bit lighter and then uh, in some sense it's going to affect the durability as well. A lot of people will get oak sticks because they want sticks that are going to last longer. You also want to consider the stick length. Typically sticks will be about 16 inches but uh, you'll find sticks that are sometimes uh, up to an inch longer or a little bit shorter and that's going to affect the rebound, the uh, overall just balance of the stick and then of course it's going to affect the reach as well. So something like these uh, Vader blazers are a little bit longer than the typical 16 inch. The stick tip type of course is also going to make a big difference difference not only in feel but also how the sticks sound and in fact this will probably have the biggest impact on how your drums and mostly how your cymbals sound. I actually have another video going into this specifically so I'll link that around here somewhere you can check that out. So like a pair of uh, nylon tip sticks like these Pro Marks here are going to sound very different than a pair of wood tip sticks. Another thing you might want to consider is the taper of the stick, and that's how quickly the stick actually comes to a point. So it can have sort of a more gradual taper or a faster taper. And I'm not going to tell you exactly what's better or worse for you, um, but I will say that the taper does affect the stick rebound and uh, the overall balance of it. So you may want to just try a couple of different stick taper types and uh, figure out what makes most sense for you. Let's see if you can see on this Jimmy Cobb stick here. Yeah, you can see that this taper is a little bit more immediate at the end than some other stick types. And then after you've considered all of these more standard properties of sticks, you might want to think about all the other uh, features that companies are putting into sticks these days. We've got these crazy colored ones. We've got uh, sticks that have grip at the end that are like dipped. Um, I know Promark makes some what they call active grip sticks, which get tackier as you sweat. So all of those uh, different features and elements are worth considering. But at the end of the day, and especially for new drummers, I would highly, highly recommend just starting with either a pair of 5As or 5Bs, and then using that as your prototype, starting there and seeing how they feel, and then deciding, hmm, do I want to try something that's a little thicker? Uh, maybe I'm not, I'm having a tough time reaching drums or cymbals. Maybe I want to try something that's a little bit longer. And then slowly you can kind of whittle down your options and decide what makes most sense for you. And then of course, I also have to plug going into actual drum shops because shopping for sticks online doesn't really make a lot of sense because you can't actually feel them. Whereas if you come in a shop like this where we've got a big wall full of sticks, you can just take a practice pad and try 100 different sticks in a row and find exactly which one is right for you. So hopefully this was helpful to some of you. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.